Hey guys, it's Greg from BitGoblin again, and today I've actually got a pretty quick video for you. We're going to take a look at how to install packages on Linux, and this will be the start of a new series dubbed simply Linux Basics, a series where I will try to demystify the beast that is Linux and help you get started if you're interested in trying it out but don't know where to start. This is actually very easy, so let's get started. You smell that? It smells like a BitGoblin. All right, here I'm in a Linux Mint VM, and we're going to show off the apt package manager, which is used in Debian and Debian-based distributions, such as Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop! OS. So first, let's start by searching for a package. How you do that is you type in apt, search, and then the package that you want to search for. For example, here we're just going to search for Audacity. So hit enter, then you get a few packages here matching that string. Since we found the package that we want to install, the next step would be to install Audacity. So to install a package, you need to run sudo, and you need sudo because installing a package requires administrative privileges. So sudo apt install Audacity. Just like that, type in your password, hit enter. You don't have to worry about all the details here. Basically, this tells you all the packages that are going to be installed and how much it's going to take up on your system. So we're prompted for a yes or no, type in Y, hit enter, and you're off to the races. And as we can see here, let's just go to start, search for Audacity. Boom, Audacity's there. Man, the little splash screen didn't load properly. <laughs> but there we go, Audacity 2.3.3 is installed and on Linux Mint. Let's close that. So to uninstall a package, you need to again do sudo apt purge Audacity. Now there are two commands here for re removing packages. The first is apt remove. The remove command only uninstalls the package and doesn't remove any of the configuration files or anything else that gets installed. Purge, however, will do the same as remove, except it will remove all the extra configuration files. Typically it's best practice to go with apt purge just to keep everything nice and tidy. So hit enter. We're getting prompted for Y and it's explaining all the packages it will be removed. So Audacity is uninstalled, but if you look closely here, there's a line here that says the following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required. This just means that a package that was installed, in this case Audacity, that is no longer installed, auto-required libraries and such to install Audacity properly. But when you do apt purge Audacity, it does not get rid of any of those extra libraries in case you want them for whatever reason. In this case, we're not going to keep them, so to get rid of them, you have the sudo apt auto-remove command. Usually it's safe to run this, so I'm just going to hit yes. And boom, Audacity is now uninstalled. And we can verify this by again going to the start menu, typing in Audacity, and we're just getting a bunch of web searches. So these next commands are not necessarily for installing software on your system, but we're going to go over updating your system quickly since it's pretty much the same commands. So for using Debian-based distributions, there are actually two steps to this process. You have to update the repository information on your system, and then you have to actually install those updated packages that it finds. So to do the first step, you have to do sudo, oops, sudo apt update. That will go ahead and reach out to all the configured repositories on your system and pull their latest package information. And conveniently down here, it says I have 11 packages that can be upgraded. If you want, we can run apt list. I'll just show you this right here to list the packages that need upgrading. To upgrade them all, all you have to do is do sudo apt upgrade, hit enter, we're prompted again, hit Y, and then all the packages will be upgraded. Boom, we're done. We've gone over installing and uninstalling packages and updating your system. Let's head over to Red Hat Base Systems. All right, so we're back here now on all my Linux on a GNOME 3 desktop with the terminal open. On Red Hat Base Distributions, you have the DNF package manager, which is actually pretty similar to the apt package manager. Commands are pretty much the same, but they are a little bit different, so I'll go through them real quick. So first thing you need to do, say we're going to search for a package, we need to do DNF search. Let's go with Audacity again. Oop. Helps if I can type it correctly. There you go. We found our package. Well, now let's go ahead and install Audacity. So again, we need sudo DNF install Audacity. Type in your password because, you know, administration privileges. So here we have a summary. This one's a bit more nicely laid out, in my opinion, compared to the apt package manager, showing you all the packages that's going to install, how much it's going to take up, and we're prompted for yes or no. Type in Y, hit enter. So Audacity is installed, and we can go check this by going to activities, typing in Audacity, and it shows up. Hmm. 
I guess that little uh, splash screen just doesn't work on Linux. But there we go. Audacity 2.3.3 is installed. So once you remove it with DNF, you need to do sudo DNF remove Audacity. So now we see it's going to remove Audacity and also any unused dependencies. Whereas with the app package manager, we had to go apt purge Audacity and then apt auto remove. This kind of takes care of both those steps at the same time. So let's just type in Y for yes, hit enter, and everything is uninstalled. Now for updating your system, it's actually very similar again to the app package manager, except it's all taken care of in one step. As opposed to running an update and then upgrade, you just need to do sudo dnf update. I have a bunch of packages that need to be updated. Type in Y for yes, enter. Cool, our system is updated. And yeah, that's it for DNF. So that was all pretty easy, but if you don't want to go digging through into the terminal for whatever reason, there are some graphical interfaces that you can use to do all of this for you pretty easily. For Debian-based systems, you have the Synaptic Package Manager, which can be installed simply with sudo apt install Synaptic. And on Red Hat-based systems, you have DNF Dragora, which can, again, be easily installed with sudo dnf install dnf Dragora. And also some distributions like Ubuntu and Pop OS even come with their own app stores, which are a bit nicer to use compared to Synaptic. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. It's uh, nice and short and sweet. Hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos like this one. Also, let me know your thoughts on this video and if you want to see more like it in the comment section below or simply go chat with me on my Discord server. I will catch you in the next one.